It's a state-of-the-art learning facility. Most young people that are innovative will be exposed to digital skills. It will create a digital economy and global standard expertise. Young people from underprivileged communities will also have an opportunity to utilize this facility for job hunting. If we are investing in the digital economy, providing skills to young people, we're investing in the future. So that is why we view the step by liquid uh, intelligent te te technologies as a great step for the young people of Mtata to say they too can become part of the digital economy that we're talking about because not only they have access to internet, they also have access to utilizing and providing content in the different platforms. Beneficiaries have expressed the appreciation for the digital skills facility. Um, it's going to help me right now and in the future with my IT projects like EPAT and to get more opportunities into the technology world, especially if I'm doing like a computer science degree. It's going to assist me in developing my Excel skills, my Microsoft Office skills, and in terms of general um, Excel programming skills that I'll need not only now, but later in my future. Unemployment rate in the province is extremely high. This innovative and digital skills center is a catalyst for job creation. Definitely, this is going to turn around the situation. We want young people to be equipped. Uh, we need more uh, skills development uh, from young people. Uh, people can now do everything, uh, as you can see, with all this technological uh, development. So we think that it's an opportunity to be grabbed by both hands. The introduction of internet connectivity centers is seen as a positive move to change the economic outlook of the country. Equipping young people is regarded as a long-term investment for the future. I'm Grulego Nyembezi, SAPC News, Ntata.